So my name's Rachel Lowe, I'm uh, a director at Physiopedia and I'm here today with Joe Glinsky who's one of the course coordinators for the Physiotherapy Management of Spinal Cord Injuries course in Physiopedia. Hello Joe. Hello Rachel, nice to see you. And you. So really, so we're just doing a little video interview here to introduce um, everyone to Joe so that they know who they're speaking to when they're running through the course. So I was just wondering Joe if we could ask you a few questions, just find out a little bit about yourself, um, just to introduce you to everybody. Sure Rachel, that'd be great. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself and where you live and what you do for work on a sort of day-to-day -day basis? I live in Sydney in Australia and I work at the John, Wal John Walsh um, Rehabilitation Research Institute at the University of Sydney. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis I work as a researcher, I work as a physio project officer and I also work as a physiotherapy tutor. So as a physiotherapy researcher I'm pretty much interested in um, looking at different aspects of rehabilitation. And as a project officer, I work on projects like this one and like the Physiotherapy Exercises website. And as a tutor, I, um, I teach neurological physiotherapy to undergraduate physiotherapists. Great. And, and is all that involve spinal cord injuries or is that other clinical areas as well? In the research domain and the project domain, it's mostly in spinal cord injuries, but in the tutoring, it's all of neurological physiotherapy. Excellent. And so how long have you been a physiotherapist? I've been a physio for about 18 years now. And so what made you get into spinal cord injuries as a speciality? I probably came upon spinal cord injuries by chance. I was working in stroke rehabilitation and just saw a job advertisement and decided I'd, I would go for that job and happened to get it and it was it turned out to be a a great job in a large spinal cord injury unit in Sydney where I worked with a really, really nice team, uh, including Lisa Harvey. Um, I think I was lucky to, to get that job and when I first started in that job I really knew very little about spinal cord injuries and I think I would have really benefited from a course like this at that point in my career. Yeah, sure. And so you've been working with Lisa for quite a long time now then. Lisa's the other course coordinator. Yes, I've been working with Lisa for the, the whole time. Um, I've been working in spinal cord injuries for the 12 years. 12 years, and, and you yourself and Lisa have put this course together yourselves, and so um, quite a, a really nice course, so thank you for doing that. Um, so just in the spinal cord area, sort of spinal cord injuries, what are the particular challenges that physios face when they're working with these patients? Um, I don't know if there's one particular challenge that we find um, when working with people with spinal cord injuries. Probably um, our major challenge is that every patient varies and every context varies. So um, patients from different environments and different countries, there's always different challenges for each individual. And so, and so I guess this course is really important. Why do, why do you think this course is really important for, for us to put online and make available to everybody? Um, I think it's important because it's giving physiotherapists and physiotherapy students uh, access to this knowledge um, and ultimately with the aim of improving the care of people with spinal cord injuries in different parts of the world. I also think it's important because the research resource that the course is based on um, was developed um, by ISCOS um, by over 50 different physiotherapists on our committee. So it's important that this resource that uh, took a lot of time to put together by a lot of people internationally um, is used. Yeah, and it's great that we're using it throughout this course. Um, um, we've got some great great resources that you've developed that we'll be using and, and all the participants will be able to look through those and use them throughout the course. And so have you got any advice, just finally, any advice or messages for the course participants as they embark upon this course with you? Oh, I probably my advice would be to enjoy the course and enjoy um, your discussions with the many people from around the world that are uh, like-minded and, and enjoying learning about um, physio management of people with spinal cord injuries. Excellent. Well, Joe, it's been really nice to meet you, and we're all looking forward to doing the course. Um, and we'll be spending some conversation time together in the future. So, thank you. Thanks, Rachel. Nice to meet you as well.